Let's go. All right. We have a man with blood group AB, all right, and a woman who is heterozygous for blood group B, which means she is going to have the alleles that look like that. She's heterozygous for blood group B, and this chap who's blood group AB is going to have an allele A and an allele B. And remember that A and B are co-dominant. So they equally dominate, so they will work together. Okay, now, how many alleles control the inheritance of blood groups? Well, there are three. That's the answer. But just so that you know, we have allele A, we have allele B, and we have allele I. Okay, and this will give you, if there are two of these, they're recessive, that will give you blood group O. And if it's a, a, a blood group AB, then both these alleles are present. And if it's two A's, then it's blood group A. And if it's two B's, it's blood group B. And if it's heterozygous, you'll have AI and BI. And then it'll still be blood group A or B. Right, describe the type of dominance that occurs in the inheritance of blood group B. So, of this woman, hey? So it's this woman that is heterozygous BI. Well, firstly, it's going to be complete dominance. Okay, and why is it complete dominance? Because blood group B allele dominates, dominates over the recessive blood group O allele, which is I. All right, so there you go. It's complete dominance. And A completely dominates over O, and A and B, uh, and B completely dominates over O, <clears throat> sorry, and A and B are co-dominant. They both dominate. Okay, let's check our next question. It says, use a genetic cross to show the possible genotypes, that's what's in the genes, and the phenotypes, what will be expressed um, and what you will see in the physical of their children. So let's do this. So what have we got? Now here where all your marks are going to go. We've got P1, which is our first parents, and the phenotype. Okay, and the phenotype is going to be blood group AB, which is the man's, crossed with um, blood group, and I'm running out of space here, <laughs> B. Okay. And what is in the genotype? So with the genotype, blood group AB is going to be A, or allele A and allele B, times allele B, I. Okay, because remember the female is heterozygous. So we have meiosis occurs, and then we have our gametes, and the gametes are going to look like this. We draw a Punnett square, nine little blocks, and here are the gametes, and we are going to have allele A and allele B and then we have that allele B and I. Okay, and then we have fertilization here. And remember please that these are all chances. Okay, so the offspring can be any one of these combinations every single time fertilization takes place. So, 
Here we have A crossed with B. So that's allele AB. And here we have allele B and allele B. And here we have allele A and I. And here we have allele B and I. So as you can see here, there are four different genetic makeups, but if we do the F1 generation, which is now the first field generation, we do the genotype. And the genotype is going to be one in four, because there are four options, one, two, three, four, one in four will be A, B. And we have one in four is going to be this one, which is allele BB, which is blood group B. And we have one in four, which is going to be AI. And we're going to have one in four that are going to be BI. Okay, so hang on, this looks like an I here. All right, so if I look at the phenotype, so what you are going to see, what is going to be expressed physically, we are going to have 25% are going to be blood group AB. That's this one. And we're going to have 50% are going to be blood group B. Why? Because it's this one here and that one there. This will be homozygous B and that will be heterozygous B. But if you look at the phenotype, it's going to be blood group AB. And then the last one here is going to be 25% of the offspring or the 25% chance that the offspring will be blood group A. And there you go. Easy peasy. And where were the marks? Let's show you where your marks are. Uh, let's go with blue. Okay. Here's where your marks are going to be. You get a half for P1 and a half for F1. You get a half for meiosis and a half for fertilization. So before you've even done the cross, you've already got two marks. Then you get a mark for the genotype, you get a mark for the gametes, and so we're now looking at four, at four marks already, and then you'll get a mark for that, for your genotype, and your mark for the phenotype, and that will be six out of six. And you have no excuse not to get full marks. All right, just remember with blood grouping, um, allele BB is blood group B. Allele BI is going to be heterozygous blood group B. The same applies for blood group A. And A and B, allele A and B are co-dominant. So when you have allele A and B, it's going to give you blood group AB. So there are three alleles, A, B, and I. And there are four, uh, um, four blood groups, A, B, AB, and O.